that leads us right into trust. Now, with trust, people are more likely to act when they trust the person or they trust the situation. And that can, that can uh, circle back to familiarity. That could circle back to a position of authority. It just depends on you know, the situation itself. So social engineers can use a variety of tactics to shortcut that path to trust. As I mentioned, authority. They can use familiarity, which is company-specific jargon, right? If I start talking about systems that really no one in the outside world would know, well, then you all of a sudden, we have a common bond. You think, all right, this person knows what he's talking about. We work on the same systems. We work for the same company, so on and so forth. I could do name dropping, and it might bring up a common friend, or it might bring up a common boss or a coworker, or we could do some type of shoulder surfing or dumpster diving. All of these things allow us to get information that we can use to then elicit trust next time we talk to that person because now we know something that they know or we have some type of common bond.